guys uh, another video for you today and today is an interesting one so i know you guys like to see new and different things and um when i do shootouts and experiments so today is an experiment and it's a big one so this cinema room i'm a bit crazy um i like my base as all of us audio files do so i've got a lot of subwoofers in here none of them are isolated except for the pb16 which i'm going to move to the clips room in any case so this will be all m and k subwoofers but the best solution i found to isolate your speakers or your sub svf sound box and i've done them before videos and i've told you guys how good they are today we're going to test them i'm going to run demos in here with no isolation feet except for what you get on the subwoofers and subwoofers in this room playing at the same time is Miller and Creasel X15 in front, Miller and Creasel X12 directly behind me, and two Miller and Creasel V12s to the left and to the right. So I have four 12 inch near field subwoofers and two 15 inch monsters in the front. So this is a lot of bass. So the problem, as I explained in my previous video, um, when I did the shootout on the two big boys, um, to get that bass is fine. So most of my movie scenes where it's like a quick, oof, you get that like a pressurized wave hitting your organs, which I love. But then when you get the low down, oof, it rattles the entire room to pieces. And I don't want that. I want to hear the oof, but I don't want things to rattle. And I want to feel that bass. So the impactful bass, the... Um, what do, you, what do I call it? The, the tactile bass. No problem. It's the, it's the low down frequencies that make the rattles. So we are going to be adding these on each and every subwoofer. I'm going to do this video. I'm going to go with the camera around the room as I'm playing something and we can hear where the rattles are. I'm going to keep the volume and everything exactly the same. Placements of the subs the same. And then I'm going to add these to all of the subs. So I'm going to cut away now. Do the video before I add them. I'm going to leave them right here. Just put this flat because the base will make this fall over. Um, and then I will cut away again. Change all the feet, which is going to take me like a good couple of hours because these subs are blooming huge. And then run the video again, guys. So this is going to be a cool one. Guys, if you've not already done so, please like and subscribe. Share this video. It allows me to do stuff like this. This was not sponsored. I did try very hard markup on these are very small so i had to buy them out of pocket which is still not cheap um there's like eight thousand grand isolation feature um but yeah i'm doing this for you guys and i also like to play i i want to see if i can better this room and just take it to the next level okay guys stay tuned okay guys this is the scene i use most it's a quiet place part two um you won't see the screen now with all the lights on you um where it's the beginning scene and they start move they're in the pub and it starts moving around and that bass where it, where it like does its echo location or whatever it does it rattles the room so my volume is on minus three um i can go to reference but this is normally where i listen and this is where so if i watch a movie it will be on minus three this is where I want to calibrate these two. So let's run it now. You'll see no isolation feet. Everything's still there. Um, they're all flat on the ground. Oh, sorry, dark there. But yeah, no isolation feet. Let's run this and see what happens. <laughs> back again slightly just get that low down i'm actually going to up the volume a bit let's go to reference i want to hear where these rattles are coming from somewhere around here <laughs> pinpointed it's it's everywhere this place is so violent 
<laughs> Some at the back here as well. I can actually hear the windows and everything, guys. So let's isolate these subs. Let's do this test again. Okay, guys, as uh, you can see, it's dark there, feet are on. We've already tested this now, so I know what the outcome is. I could not add feet on the Vs because their feet are stuck on. So I've got on the Xs, which I think is sufficient because they are the guys that are causing the vibrations. So again, as you can see, we are on reference volume. Let's play that same scene. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All but completely eliminated. Let me put this down. but completely eliminated guys um these things are so bloody good i can't praise them enough um i still get that like let's say five percent that you can hear like in the window sill ever so slightly at the end of the bass but during the vibration i can just feel the pressure waves i don't get that vibration now i can actually up these a bit more um, and see where we can get that fine line although I think it's very well dialed in I just want to get rid of the rattles so one thing I need to mention on the sound path isolation feet and I don't know why companies do this and they did it on the SVSs I had six sets as you saw the new ones they don't supply different screws anymore for different types of subwoof subwoofers um, so they used to that used to be a pro because you could use them on all sub you can have like four different sets and now you can't do that anymore um so on the clipses for instance where i put them in the room next door where i put them in the room next door um the screws didn't work so i had to use the screws that came with the set so luckily i could so i don't know why they do this but it's worth noting guys if you do get any new stock of this isolation feet they're not going to have the different screws in there anymore so either you're going to have to make a plan or use your old screws or hope that the screws that they supply actually work guys i hope you enjoyed this video i did and this is a huge success love them recommend them till the next video cheers bye